Hello YouTube, I'm Craig with Casworks Woodworking. Today we're going to start installing the floors. Let's get to it. I started out the process by laying down the vapor barrier. This goes between the subfloor and the flooring. As it states for a vapor barrier also helps with uh, any squeaking. You can also notice here those white strips along the flooring. Obviously there used to be walls here and so the subfloor didn't go all the way to that point. So I had to lay some strips down to make sure that there wasn't that uh, void there so I would get a nice uh, flat surface for the flooring to be installed. You can see here that I ran a chalk line. I discovered when I was uh, running my ductwork that there was a, an electrical wire running through there and they had basically just notched out one of the joists and laid it in on top. So I put that chalk line in to make sure that when I was nailing my flooring I did not go into that wire. Once the vapor barrier was finished, I started in with the flooring. I forgot to record the first couple of rows, but it's pretty much rinse and repeat. So as you can see, I'm, I'm laying it down. I didn't rent a uh, specific flooring nailer. My pneumatic nailer worked just fine. I was very happy with it. Had no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, so it worked pretty well. We chose a New England knotty pine. We really like the character of it. Now the boards came with a V groove in it. We chose to use the reverse side because we just wanted it flat. But it was nice tongue groove boards. I just staggered the joints. It nailed down real easy. Went together easily. There are some various knot holes, some imperfections that I'll have to deal with before I put a finish on. But the look of it, we really enjoy, we really like it. We are just going to put a natural finish on it. Made sure I left a half inch gap at all walls for expansion and contraction.
and the floor is finished.